The Russian Ministry of Defense has claimed that the country's air defense forces supposedly intercepted and destroyed 87 Ukrainian drones over the territory of Russia and temporarily occupied Crimea on the night of 13 to 14 June. It is reported that 70 drones were supposedly destroyed over the territory of Russia's Rostov Oblast, 6 over Voronezh Oblast, 6 over Kursk Oblast, 2 over Belgorod Oblast, 2 over Volgograd Oblast and another one over the territory of temporarily occupied Crimea. Russian telegram channels reported that residents of the town of Morozovsk, Rostov Oblast, reported explosions at night. In addition, a fire broke out in the city. The Astra Telegram channel pointed out that there was a military airfield in Morozovsk, which was attacked on April 5th. Vasily Golubev, the governor of Russia's Rostov Oblast, said that several settlements in the Morozovsk district were cut off from the power grid as a result of the UAV attack. Drones struck an oil refinery in Russia's Voronezh Oblast, regional governor Alexander Guzov reported. In recent months, Ukrainian forces have launched a series of drone strikes aimed at damaging Russia's oil industry, the profits of which fuel Moscow's war efforts. Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles in the region's Laskinsky district hit the oil refinery, damaging fuel tanks, Guzov said. There were no casualties and the consequences of the strike are currently under investigation, according to Guzov. Ukraine's military intelligence agency last month confirmed a drone attack against an oil refinery in Voronezh Oblast launched overnight on May 1. F-16s for Ukraine will be armed with ATA CMS missiles, analysts called the expected reward. If you really set yourself a goal, then the task of integrating American ATA CMS missiles under the wings of the F-16 fighter seems realistic and the reward will be the ability to hit targets at ranges that significantly exceed 300 kilometers. Defense Express analysts shared this opinion. Experts noted that ATA CMS could well have been called JTA CMS, that is Joint Tactical Missile System, since at first it was planned to create a universal missile that would be used not only for ground forces, but also for air forces. In 1984, the US Air Force withdrew from the project and two years later, Ling Temco Fort won the competition with its version of the MGM-140. That is, at the project stage, ATA CMS was planned for air launch. Moreover, its carrier, was also supposed to be two F-16s, but all that remains of this project is a plastic model in extremely poor condition, the material says. Analysts emphasized that the complexity of integrating this American missile lies not only in how to hang it under the wings of the F-16, it is also necessary to make changes to the navigation algorithms of the missile which will no longer launch with the parameters of zero altitude and speed and also to teach the aircraft to interact with these weapons, JTACMS demonstrates that with a high degree of probability, all calculations and methods have already been worked out in the 80s. The article notes, at the end of April, the New York Times wrote that US authorities secretly sent more than 100 long-range ATACMS missiles to the Ukrainian state. Later, the head of the US Department of Defense, Lloyd Austin, said that such weapons are not a magic solution for an effective long-range campaign. Ukraine also expects Western partners to provide it with the promised F-16 aircraft. The first F-16 fighters will arrive from the Netherlands to Ukraine in the summer of 2024. Dutch Defense Minister Kaiser Ollongren stated this in an interview with the European Truth. She clarified that the corresponding procedure is going according to plan. First, the planes will arrive from Denmark and then from the Netherlands. I expect that starting this summer, the first F-16s will be delivered to Ukraine and from then on, their deliveries will be put on stream. There will be more and more aircraft and this will strengthen your air forces, Ollongren said. 